Hello, welcome back. Last time I had a lot of trouble in the crypt, then I came to the garden and had a lot of trouble in the garden. <laughs> I solved this room. I attempted this one and didn't understand quite what I had needed to do. Uh, I did realize one thing that I didn't actually uh, say last time. This mechanism here... Um, I've had some additional insight about the room I was stuck in in the crypt. But I noticed something. This mechanism here very specifically requires me to... Requires a, a turn 30 cycle to have happened here. Um, for this to, to go on. Because I have to wait for the tar to grow after breaking the, the broken wall there. Uh, that fire trap will be on, so I guess the only possible way that could cause me problems with the construct would be if I had brought the mirror out of here and then parked it on this plate and then went here. That would be a weird thing to do. Hmm. Anyway, um, so garden... <laughs> garden is supposed to be easier than the crypt, but man, they both seem like kind of super nasty. <laughs> So like I said last time, let's adjust our expectations for this just a little bit. It's an 8-brain hold. It's pretty nasty. Um, if I get one room done in a day, it's a good day. Anyway, so like I was saying about this goblin room, I had some ideas. So let me watch my demo to see how I did what I did there. I think I know how to handle this last goblin now. So right, step there, kill that. The arrangement I want is those three parked in there, and then there, then that lets me kill that, kill that there. Okay. So that spot is very convenient for that. That lets me kill all those, pull a single one out there, and that's the end of it. Okay. I think I can repeat that much more efficiently. So step one, kill you here. Step two, get everybody... Actually, how did step two work? Show me that one more time. Because I'm not quite sure what to do from there. So after that, I move... Oh, those two. Those two go there. Then to get around this, I get those around the bottom. Got it. Okay. All right. So you come out uh, like that. And then you two go around the bottom in the other move order. Actually, how do I get you in the other move order? Like this. Uh, did that do it? No. Um, like this? No. Um, do I need to? Yes. Your move order is wrong. How do I fix it? Like, I've done this before, haven't I? Like, you can come around there. Then I do th 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 this, I guess. Yes, that does it. Okay. Move order is better. You do that. Come around here. You come around here. And then everybody parks there. Okay. Then... What did that let me do? Actually, yeah, what did that let me do? Show me one more... One more time. Uh -huh. This is a complicated room. I need to refer to my reference often. So from here, I moved them all into that space and killed you there. Got it. Got it. Okay. All of you move over here, and then you die here. Okay. All three of you, I think, move back into this space again. Mm-hmm. Then it can go here. One comes out and dies there. So right, at this point, what I need to do is get those to a place where I can get by them. Whoops. Like, um... Actually, yeah. Kind of like that. Oops. Uh, and I guess I need to do something like, th uh, like, like this. All right, so here's the trick that I needed to do. Um, I need to drop that somehow for one thing. Can I... Can I pull you around this corner without... Mm, no. Uh, right, so I need to drop this trap door. I know what to do... Oh, wait, no. I dropped this one on the way back from that. That's how it is. 
So I want some distance here. Um, I won't get much distance. Maybe I can work with this. So here's the plan. I do that. I move you around to uh, this spot. I wait. I step northwest. And because there's a pit there, uh, a two tile gap actually opens up. So there we go. I have some distance on the goblin. And then I can actually get away from it. So yes, I think that's what I needed to do. Next question. How do I convince him to step there? Because that's mm, that was going to be part of my plan. Um, actually, yeah. How is that ever going to happen? Sure, I can go there, but I can't kill the goblin from there, right? Pretty sure I can't. I mean, I'll try. Uh, so if I stay here, he'll never come to me. If I go here, he'll never come to me. Unless I do this, and then he kills me. Okay. So what I need is some way... Some way to have the goblin coming from up here, or... Oh, actually, was I supposed to do it with this trapdoor somehow? How could that have ever happened? No, wait, didn't I have a way to make this happen? I have a goblin, I'll go there. Uh, no. Uh, okay, so what if I were to mess around with this pit again? Can I get him to be like... Uh, no, I mean, there's no way to set up... Hmm. Let's go back a little bit. There isn't another angle that I can get him at uh, to that would be better than that particularly. If that trapdoor were already dropped and I were going here... No, he would step south instead of um, that way. Okay. So I still don't understand the final part of this room, apparently. Okay, so angles. It'd be great if I could get him here. No, it wouldn't. That wouldn't help me at all. Um, here would not work. Like, this is... Hmm, there's nothing that's in the right place for this. Maybe I was supposed to do this last somehow? Like, if I bring you down here... Uh, you just kill me. Yeah, you just kill me. G uh, no, hang on. Wait, wait just a second. Is there anything I can do with... Uh... No. Not that kind of arrangement. Okay, so... I'm up here, and a goblin is where? Like, I can't keep that goblin in there. There's no way. I can't keep this goblin in here. There's no way, because I have to use up those trapdoors to, to drop the trapdoor gates. They're going to be out here in this area. Sure seems to me like this is pretty specific. Okay, I'll try this. Oh, hey, that would work if that trapdoor were dropped. Okay, that's how I do it. But I need to somehow drop that trapdoor first. Okay. Well, at least that's a task that maybe I can try to accomplish somehow. I know how to do it. Hey, guess what? I can do that at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> that's how you solve that problem. <laughs> Alright, let's just repeat this. Can I remember how I did it? Maybe? I get these two over here. Their turn order needs to be, um, yeah, number one, number two. Like that. Just like that. You come along down here. All three stack up. Uh, then go in here, and you die. Okay, pretty sure I can actually solve this room now. Hey, you don't get around there. Stay where you are. 
Uh, right, one... Well, I can do that any time. One comes out here and dies there. Two come out here and follow me. All the way up here. All right, now how was that? It was the other way. It was like uh, this. Mm-hmm. There we go. Take that, goblin. You're dead. I solved the room. Yay! <laughs> so that was hard. Okay, great. So I solved a room. It's a good day. <laughs> Even though it's a room I already worked on two other days. That's okay. I haven't really looked around the crypt, so what is this? Let's just parse some rooms. Tar Mother. Broken wall. Uh, I have to break some walls and break some tar to get in there, and it's kind of complicated. It looks like I have an adder timer. That has to happen when I'm standing here in order for me to get out. Is there a tar gate in the room? I don't see one, so why would I break this mud? I guess if I would want... Um, my thing's transparent, right? Yeah. There's just nothing under there. Is there a trapdoor gate? Yes. So roaches will die there. Do I want mud babies for some reason out of this? Nothing closes that. That doesn't... That's not affected by anything. Okay, so why is it there? Um, the only reason this mud would be there, if there's no target, and no other reason to mess with it, is if I would want mud babies for something. I could stall the adder with one, I guess. However... If I were stepping there, I couldn't get back out. Is there a disarm token in the room? No. Alright, so how much time do I have with this adder? So that happens. I mean, that's a fair bit of time. So on turn 128, I need to be here or so. Alright, so adder timer. Kill this, kill those, um, kill that, and be here. Okay, I mean, that's that's not much time to do those things, but let's see how far I can get. I'm going to face, I don't know, this way? Be efficient. Seems like I would want to wake those up and take advantage of that somehow. That's my inclination. Oh, and I have to wait for growth here, so I've probably done this in the wrong order. Oops, wait, what? So this is how I cut that tar, sure. I'm nowhere near fast enough for this, and actually, yeah, I have to wait for growth there. Oh, wait. I'm starting to understand something. So watch this. I can't block an adder with, um, like, mud babies or anything, but I can feed them to it. Oh, and they seize the decoy. Perfect. There we go. Alright, so that's how I can feed my adder. Get him nice and big for that. Okay. This is cool. Uh, let's see. If I do this, I can make that... Can I make that first cycle somehow? Yes. Uh-huh. That was nice and efficient. How long can I wait here? I can wait another cycle. Oh, wait. That closes that. Okay. So once I'm in here, I'm in here. I had... Mm, somewhere close to the maximum amount of time, I feel like. So let's see. I have to wait here. Oh boy, this is awkward. Wait, so... What? How does this... Huh? Well, you have to be a... Wait, what? There's something I'm not understanding about this tar blob. You started like that. There's nothing I can do to stop you from growing into this space, as far as I know. Like, that's just going to happen. 
So to get through here, I have to do this and that, but then like, okay, I guess I can stab that, but then I'm here and this can't grow because I'm here. So the only way I can stab that is from down there. So I need to, I need to cut this, but if I do that, I die. Because, like, I can't do that, I can't do that, and if I step here, I'm stuck. Huh? Nobody can really help me with that. Evil eyes can't, mud babies can't, roaches can't. Is there some other way to cut this that I'm not seeing? Yeah, there is. I have to wait another cycle. Oh, wow. Okay. So if I wait that long... The adder dies, for one thing. Wait, but now I can't move. What? I have to wait another cycle. So that's a lot of turns to get in here, and I'm locked in the entire time. And I have to wait for this. Okay, so this is... Even just this section is already way beyond the maximum number of turns that I can take before the adder dies. So that adder needs to be consistently fed a lot of stuff while I'm in here. So I can kind of make that happen with roaches here. Those stack up and I can do that with them. Uh, so, okay, let's first feed it some evil eyes. Might as well, right? Let's see, what's the best, most efficient way to do this? If I were to go... That gets three. Alright, so I can wake three at once like that. Um, who cares? I mean, okay, yeah, I can feed those to the adder, sure. I don't want my roaches dying on the hot tiles there. That's... It'd be better if, um... If that happened. So, efficient mud cutting. Like, all of this doesn't help that much. If I could just get this roach queen to another position somehow... But I can't. Can I? Okay, let's play with the roach queen. Like, if the roach queen can feed the adder, that will help, but not completely solve my problem. So you would go there... I would cause you to lay a roach egg here, and then I can move you south, yes. Well, kinda. Um. Yes, I can move you south. Um, that doesn't help. Because I can't keep... Um. Yeah, no, that doesn't... Uh, well, no, hang on. From this position, that that's actually better. Then I can move you out. Uh, it's, it, it, kinda. Um, huh. There really isn't a way to do this, is there? Well, yes, there is, because when you're there, when you're here, you'll produce three roaches that will end up getting eaten by the adder. Okay, that's good. Now, can I keep that adder alive for that long? No. Not really. I mean, that is basically already dead. Mm -hmm. But hey, roaches are making it their way in there. Okay, so I can do that quicker. I want to face, I guess, this way. This room seems fun. I was going to go around and parse all the rooms, but this room seems fun. I just want to do this. In fact, I can make it up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, this feels like the correct way to start this... Uh, uh, almost the correct way to start this room. North? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, hmm. Northwest? Or can I just... Is that just impossible? That's just impossible? Okay. So I cannot get that in there this spawn cycle. Alright, fair enough. I'll wait for a second one. Uh, 
Alright, Adder, you need food. I will provide that to you. Like this. Alright, eat some roaches, eat some evil eyes. So, uh, this will not keep the Adder fully alive. I still need to feed it some more. But this will help a lot. Um, if those actually make it in, that is. So, how many... One, two, three, four, five, six times four. Okay, so 24. All right. Um, so that's not so bad. All right, so the way I did this was like that. I woke three. Well, I'd like... Hmm. Ugh. Keep feeding that adder. You are not in the correct place to feed the adder. Alright. You get to eat some mud. Why? Why am I doing this? Because I want it nice and fat for this section. It's going to need to be very large. Uh, so to make the maximum number of mud babies out of this, I want to do something kind of like... I didn't want to cut it there. I wanted to cut it... Um, Probably here? Let's see. How do I make the most mud babies the quickest? Um, that adder's gonna die, by the way. Well, that didn't work at all. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess of this. Go back. Perhaps it's not time for the evil eyes? Perhaps I need to wake more? Well, face... Oh, hey, I can get four. Can I get five? Unlikely. I mean, I can kill one. And get those four. Hey, don't die on hot tiles, roaches. I need you to live. Until you get eaten by an adder. So, like, I know I can get a lot of mud babies out of there somehow. But it's not the easiest thing. Okay, so I think... This will allow you to survive... That makes four there, and that's great. So how do I manage this mud the, the right way, though? That's what I'm not sure about. Hmm. That's not great. I can't, maybe I just can't do it in one pass like I want to. Can't do that, certainly. Like, yeah, I need to trim off that edge, get this mud baby out, then come back for the rest, I guess. Adder's still alive. We're fine. Uh, yeah, maybe that's part of the puzzle. Like, get the solitary mud babies out, then get ready to unleash a whole flood of them. And that's the point where I go kill the Tar Mother. Uh, that's not what I want. This is probably not the right way to do this room. I still don't feel like I'm being properly efficient here. But, I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying stuff. Uh, and I can't really go over there because the mud babies would move. There. And I have to kill one. Mmm, yeah, no, this is not... This is not correct. I'm not doing this the right way. Uh, well, that's what happens. And those roaches are no longer going to make their way in there. Yeah, no, this won't work. That roach queen cannot be made to... So what the heck? What do I do? I think I'll try this. It won't do the job fully. Because I have to wait so many cycles here. Wait for this. Wait for this. Wait for that. Dadder's dead. Okay. Well, 
I'm gonna call that my parsing of this room. <laughs> I need a better adder feeding system. Like, those roaches need to make it in there somehow, but I just cannot imagine how that will happen. Like, what would be the best roach queen position? I mean, if I could get her to sit exactly here and lay all of those roach eggs and never move, <laughs> that'd be great, but... Alright, so... Add her feeding efficiency room. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is scary looking. Yow. I see... I think I see... Kinda. Yeah, okay, so attract goblin. Why is there a target there? That's weird. That's very weird. How could that possibly be involved in anything? Okay, in some complicated way. Yeah, I kind of understand. Oh, <laughs> time clone scariness. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure that room will be fun, but wow, does it look scary and nasty. Uh, constructs. Constructs are cool. Platform. Platforms are sometimes okay. So two places to kill constructs. A big structure here. They get okay. So I need to I need to actually play with this to see what it's about. So constructs, of course, will want to drop trapdoors. I could park them in such places, like say here, that they won't. Um, there and there would be fine. I could go down there without them waking up. However, how would I? Okay. So the specific way I would do this is like this. I think. That's how I get in. Oh, but you couldn't be parked there because you would sidestep. So they'll ruin my path back. Is the problem here. This is a long, winding passageway. I have to do that to get... Alright, so constructs need to be parked somewhere. They won't make mischief. Probably gonna have to use the platform to move them. Okay. Let's try. Can I even do that? Is that possible? I don't think so. Yeah, that's not a thing that can happen because one would have to walk toward me and in a 2x2 two two platform there's no space for that to happen. There's nowhere I can put you with the platform. I mean, I could put you on the platform. But I'm going to be moving back and forth here. So like this. Oh, and this. There we go. These are my two spots. Okay. Constructs have to die in those two spots. Okay, I can range that. Wait, no I can't. How would I kill a construct here? Uh, it might be possible... No, that's unlikely. Hmm. Well, I know I can kill one here, at least. And here, maybe... Oh! Could I work with this somehow? Okay, so let me do this. Before I try to figure out what to do with these constructs, let me just drop them. Get rid of them permanently. And let me just measure this out a little bit. So, uh, 108. I think this is the path I would have to walk. Obviously, this is a lot more than 30 turns. Let's pretend I did that. Yeah, like, really a lot more than 30 turns. This is how I get back. Okay, so that's, like, 90 turns or so. I had some inefficiencies with sword turns and bump moves and things. Okay. So I need both of the constructs with me, of course, to stand on those. They have to survive, but not drop those trapdoors because I need them all to get back. So things I can do. I could imagine potentially parking one on the platform here somehow out here. Yeah, no, see, that's this is impossible because this is the only place where I could kill one. Oh, well, no, hang on. It's a platform. I can do that. 
Like, there's no way to convince him to move north or anything, is there? I don't think so. Yeah, no. The only way to get him into this row is for Bethro to be in this row or nor further north. Uh, I just can't... That's... Um, the constraints don't allow it. Hmm. So yeah, the only diagonal corner spots that are fully protected from construct sidestepping when I'm in this area are here and here. This one seems impossible. What situation could cause a live construct to go there? Oh, wait. There might be one. Like, this one's easy. Um, let me just go ahead and verify this. So if you're dead there, you I don't really care about. Just wherever. But if I'm down here playing around here, yeah, that guy stays in place. Okay. So, um... My task for the moment... Here, let me, um... Actually, you will end up... Oops. You will end up... If I'm south, you'll end up in there. Let me just do that. There, so you're out of... You're not going to be a pest for now for that. So if I were to kill you in... Uh, let's see, how do I arrange this? I can do that. And then I can move you in there like that, and then, uh, then nothing. Okay, sure, that's possible, I guess. So then, you there. What's your plan, Alex? Don't have a good one. Hmm. I'm gonna try some stuff still. So if you were dead there and there were an obstacle there, the construct would step there, but I need not that, but this. Okay. How is this progress? And... Uh, see, I'm... Hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. This seems like it's not going to happen. Eradicate, attack, exterminate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way that I could have a dead construct here and a live construct there. See, but that wouldn't help me because this one would just sidestep around there. Okay, so if a live construct were here and nothing was there, I could do this and kill it and keep it in that spot. Great. So, what precondition would allow that to be possible? Perhaps none that might not... Wait a second. Can this ever be useful? Like, okay, hey, look, a live construct is in that spot. That's cool. Um, I can't really keep it there, though. Constructs can't use orbs, so I couldn't do anything with that. I can't drop one of them, right? Yeah, I can't, like, step up here, then have it move from there to there or anything. Because I do only need that held for one turn. Okay, um, I understand the format of this room. The specifics are eluding me for now. Let me not... Let me just stop here. Uh, there's at least one, two... Three, at least three more rooms. Did I ever look at this? Not very closely. 
Okay, anyway, um, cool. So I made a tiny bit of progress in the crypt. I solved this room that has been plaguing me for so long. I think next time I'll keep going with this one because I think I can get this. Like, I I see, I see things I can work on to make it closer to possible. Anyway, see you next time for this room, and if it proves too hard, maybe something else in the garden.